We weren't supposed to be able to reverse death. We weren't supposed to investigate what happens beyond death. But what I'm trying to highlight is something remarkable happens. And these testimonies come from millions of people all over the world. Many millions of people from all over the world have gone through this early phase of death and been brought back to life again. And incredibly, what they report consistently, and, and just to illustrate, we've studied this in thousands of people using many different scientific methods, is that consistently what the people describe is that even though from the outside perspective, they look like there is no consciousness, there's nothing, and they're supposedly dead, internally, they go through a new experience where they feel that their own consciousness, their selfhood, becomes suddenly vast, and it becomes more lucid and more sharp than anything they've experienced before. They have a perception that they separate from themselves and are able to gather information about what's happening to them as doctors and nurses are trying to revive them. And they're gathering this information almost like in 360 degrees. And they come to recognize that it looks like I'm dead. They're, they're trying so to save me, but I'm not dead. Yeah. So those movie and, scenes of someone looking at the scene, looking down on the exactly. you know, on the operating table where they are dead. Exactly. Those are those are not so far fetched. No, these are consistent. These are people from all over the world of all ages who describe that. And then what's really remarkable is that in this state, they then start to relive every single moment of their lives, every interaction they've had with others, they're able to relive it, not only from their own perspective of what they experienced, but also the other person's experience and their perspective. So for example, if they had done something to hurt somebody, they relive the exact same pain the other person has had. And if they've done something that caused happiness in other people, they relive the same happiness, but now multiple times over. But how can that be possible within such a small amount of time? You, you can't possibly run through all that in, you know, seconds, can you? Well, of course, I, I, I hear you. <laughs> Nothing about this is what we expected it to be. We weren't supposed to be able to reverse death. We weren't supposed to investigate what happens beyond death. But what I'm trying to highlight is something remarkable happens. And these testimonies come from millions of people all over the world. And what we know is that this is what they are able to somehow re recall. And what they tell us is that, as I said to you at the beginning, they suddenly experience that their consciousness becomes vast. It's almost like, think of the analogy of an iceberg, where most of our consciousness we don't have access to. You, you and I can't remember a fraction, more than a fraction of our lives now if they asked us to. But yet in death, it's as if everything was recorded in us during life. And in death, this whole thing comes to the fore, like an iceberg that emerges. And that person, they, they say these things. They say it was remarkable. I could suddenly process millions of sets of data all at the yeah. same time. So so it it suggests there's something hidden about human capabilities and yes, consciousness. It does, it, well, well, yeah, I was just about to say that. It, it basically right. suggests that we only operate to a small amount of our potential function. And that somehow in death, it looks like, you see, when we die, the breaking mechanisms are removed. And so, so part of that leads to, to the body to release, for example, thousands of times more hormones that are designed like steroids and adrenaline that are designed to save your life and restore the heartbeat again. This is called auto-resuscitation, and it sometimes works. Your genes that were dormant throughout life that are designed to repair damage suddenly become activated after death. And at the same time, it looks like your brain, which is trying to make meaning of every circumstance, including in death, not only is trying to restore life and repair any damage, but at the same time is suddenly unleashing this potential. Your entire consciousness emerges and you're experiencing everything at that time. And you're suddenly evaluating your entire life based upon a prism of morality and ethics. And that's why when these people, of course, many of them don't come back, but when they do come back, they're positively transformed because they recognize that there had been a deeper purpose to life and that even the smallest actions, the smallest thoughts, as hidden as they may have been, are, were not really hidden.